Barnold. No, 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 no. Yeah, you look fantastic. What are you talking well, about? Well, I've had a lot of work done. Anyway, <laughs> if I have one more facelift, it'll be cesarean. Yes, but but, uh, but you started at um, age 37, 37 right? Yeah, that's true. And, and you were you were a housewife. You had how many kids? Uh, five. Five kids. Yes. And it was and and here's the most amazing thing about Phyllis that no one has any uh, perception of. She was the first female stand-up comedian. Is that the term did not exist? The term did not exist. How, how did you? How did you? Um, there were funny women. Of course. Yeah. Of course, you're I'm talking about stand up yes, comedians. That's right. It's very different. Being stand up is very different. Yeah. And was it hard to be the only female? No, it, it helped. Because you were the only female? That was one reason. Right. <laughs> yes, because they thought, well, what is that? <laughs> Get a stick. And you were, just, you were just like funny at home. <laughs> you were. Darling, I was funny everywhere. <laughs> It, it, it started out as a, a defense at puberty. When I realized I was never going to look like uh, uh, Jean Harlow. Yeah. Uh, try Eleanor Roosevelt. <laughs> no. No, a no. Abe Pagoda. No, no, no. <laughs> so, uh, so, so out of... Uh, Big so Bird. <laughs> Big Bird. But you had a husband, you had five children, and, the, and you had a family, but uh, obviously, uh, how did... Was it your husband that died? Oh, you? boy. He, he just pushed and pushed and pushed and pushed. I had to become a, you got to become a comic, you got to do it. Well, number one, I was so funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> now you were. Tell the story about you uh, sneaking into the Friars Club. There was a time when Friars Club, of course, was only... Uh, uh, men, uh, men only. Men, it's a f famous uh, fraternity for... Uh, 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 or show business people. The show business people. And in fact, it was a time, it was big roasts. Um, even the waiters had to leave the room. It was they just... lost the doors. Yeah. Not even male waiters could stay. Right, but it was did... that filthy. Yeah, it was very filthy, and no women were allowed in. But tell the story that you said. Well, about. I uh, I had a beau at that time who thought it would be just a great, wonderful joke to for me to dress as a man and be at one of the lunches. Mm -hmm. So he bought a table for ten, because anyone sitting next to me or at the same table would have realized eventually that I was uh, female. Mm -hmm. And But it took about six months to get this all together. It involved a, a, a wig, a man's wig, a false eye brows, a mustache, and all that. And Any padding? A, no. No, I mean, in the shoulder? I mean, were you... Oh. Uh,